Hey guys, it's Wit. I'm coming at you with a little bit different of a moto vlog today. I'm in my office <laughs> without the kids, thankfully, so they are still at school in daycare. But I wanted to go through this quick with you guys, um, uninterrupted, thankfully. But I was contacted by First MFG to order a custom vest. And don't let that deter you from not finishing watching this video because honestly I dug into it I've done the research I've seen all of the options that are available through them and honestly the sky is the limit so you can create your own like whatever you have envisioned in your head if you want it in a vest form even in a leather jacket form it's possible to do that with them so I want to go through the process of how I ordered my first custom vest because I've honestly had this leather jacket and this only leather jacket so riding in like 110 degree weather in this jacket for the last like eight nine years um so I've never had a vest before so I'm excited to just see how the product is see how I like riding with it I'm super pumped but that's for a whole nother video once I do receive the vest, which comes at like four to six week turnaround time frame. This is all customized, guys, so it's going to take a while to do it, but you know that it's going to be good quality. You know it's handmade. They are actually here in the United States. They're based in New York, and they have a small team of everybody that does probably multiple jobs. So I had questions about certain things and what I envisioned for my vest and uh, honestly I just direct messaged them on Instagram and they got back to me instantly which was absolutely crazy and fantastic too. So they started a new line. Um, it's just first MFG customs on Instagram if you want to check it out just to get a feel for all of the <laughs> endless options that you can do even on their website. So Let's go through the actual ordering process. I'm gonna flip my screen around so you can see my computer instead of me because it just makes it easier to show you that way. But let's go through those details. I'm super pumped to show you. All right guys, so I am on the firstmfg.com website. I will put a link in the description of this video that you can just go directly to that custom vest builder page on it to make it easier for you guys but if you ever do need to go back to it just go to firstmfg.com go to custom vest build your own vest um, and then you're on that custom vest builder page of the website that they've got so the first things first that I like to recommend to you guys is going through and choosing that like templated style that you want like that gives you the base there's men's club style there's a club style that's three inches shorter if you want to go a leather and fabric option just to give that a little bit more um, two-toned look that's super cool for that sake there's a western option and then also the woman's club style so i gravitate towards that woman's club style it looks very similar to the men's club style except you know it's kind of fitted more for women with the wider at the hips i love love that look most of my motorcycle attire <laughs> if i have to say is from the men's section i don't like a lot of thrills and frills and bedazzled stuff that's just not me <laughs> at all so um something that looks very similar to that that's fit for a woman I like that's a 10 out of 10 in my book so I went through the sizing chart you can see up here in the front um and then go through and just actually take your me measurements of your chest and your waist and the center of your back and honestly I am a little below a small for the chest oh probably a medium for the waist and then center of the back I am like below a small too so if you're in between a small and a medium size they recommend that you size up just to be on the safe side so because I'm almost like an extra small I'm gonna go with that small option it might be a little tighter on, around the waist but I'm totally okay with that because I'd rather have it tighter than baggier if that makes any sense um for that so I'm going to choose that women's club style 
and then you are then able to see all of the options that you have available to you to kind of customize your own vest and look. So the first one is once you kind of scroll down through here, there's a one inch collar and then there's a rolled up collar look. I like the one inch collar. It feels a little bit more like put together but if you don't like anything that higher up you can totally do without it but I'm gonna go with that one inch color for it and the next is to choose your construction so you'll see the six different options here there's a black cowhide denim um, charcoal denim black canvas blue denim um, white canvas or a brown duck canvas I like and really love how leather the more you wear it the more it like molds to you and fits to you I have just with my leather jacket here I actually have leather straps for my camera bodies when I photograph weddings and putting that on um, it just fits well to your body the more you wear it so I'm gonna go with a leather option but when I was racking my brain about you know having to choose just black I was okay with it but I went on their actual Instagram account and they actually have, if you go to the custom vest and custom vest gallery, you can see pretty much all of the options and ideas and things that you may have never thought of. Like this is a two stitch and here's the inside panels we'll go through in a little bit. But like the sky's the limit for you guys to decide like what you want. I love this like tattoo liner too. It looks super cool. Oh, there's Rusty. <laughs> his sticker look for his panels was fantastic, like just to match the look of his bike, um, which is what it, what he's got on there. You can even do like photos of your best friend or your family, whatever it may be. It can pretty much, they can pretty much make it happen. So I went through and just perused around their Instagram account. It's first MFG Customs for this one. And I really, really loved this distressed brown leather option. So I am actually going to choose that. And this is something I questioned to them to see if it's um, something they can do or not. And they mentioned to me, so whatever, like, leather or look that fabric that you see on the website listed on the website they can do in a custom vest so don't let this deter you from only having to choose these six ones there are other options out there so I'm going to choose the leather just to kind of match that leather look but if you scroll down here we'll go through all of these parts I'm going to do leather option distressed brown leather instead of the um, black cow diamond leather Okay, so I'm just going to put that in the notes down in the measurements option so that they know. And I'll send them an email too just to get um, verification on it. But I'm going to choose that brown distressed leather instead of the black cowhide um, leather. And then next you're going to choose that side. So, oh, there is an extra small. I was pretty much an extra small to a small. Um, almost a medium so I'm gonna choose that small as an option and then um, with that you can choose your stitch type so there's a ton of different colors that you can go and choose what works best for you I really love the black and brown look but I realize that they have you can do a two, two, two color option too if you want but I really love that Kevlar that's a cool um, added bonus. So I'm going to do the black Kevlar. This is $25 extra just as a note or you can just do the single color of the black. Um, I, I don't know. I want to try the black Kevlar because I think it'd be sweet to do. Then here comes the fun part to adding like the customization, the personalization to it. So they have like bandana back panels that you can do. So like I mentioned in some of the like um, custom vest gallery part, this is what it may look like. There are like flag and camel options too if you wanted to do any of those like that looks super super cool as well but I'm going super personal and I'm going to create a custom back panel with it and so I'm a like self-taught graphic designer and so I went into my Adobe Illustrator and created my own artwork so just know it if anybody is doing this the file has to be at least 4,000 pixels wide by um, 300 dpi so i put in 
those requirements into my Adobe Illustrator. So I've got a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel image. I just did straight black um, color and then created my image, which is actually just my font image on my YouTube channel and has my name on it. So this is what I want my back panel to look like. And then I saved it as a high res PDF so that I can upload it to that file. So here I'm going to choose that file, put it into the custom artwork part, and then do back panel. So you just have to kind of describe um, with Mesa font to fill the back panel. I guess I don't really need that part of it. Okay. In, and then you can choose so like with the basic colors there's like a black mesh or red mesh or you can even do satin but i i love that like satin look so if they can do oh no i have to redo it again so back panel with mesa font in black satin if available so we'll see if we can do that um i love that satin look for that okay choose that file again choose that PDF, upload it. And then here are the like customization parts that you can do. So you can add on a removable hood, you can add on lace, you can take and add leather on the inside pockets. I would love that satin feel to them. So I'm gonna leave that as is. You can remove your cell phone pocket. Um, that for me is like, that's awesome that it's included in it. So I'm gonna leave that for sure. And then you can remove the first label if you want to, but because they are, graciously providing me this custom vest i'm going to leave that and represent them for sure because of it but know that that's an option for the removable you can remove the chest and you can remove the slash pockets so if that's something you're not really interested in you can totally disregard and not have them created that way i really like the look of both so i'm going to leave it to add a little bit more color to it along with like the stitching if you'd like you can go with a braided look um i'm not the biggest fan on that i really like just the simplistic option but i do do love this bottom perforated um just because it has like the holes on the bottom portion of it i i don't know i like that look to it so i'm gonna choose that as an option and then here's where you're going to enter your measurements so i'm going to leave that leather option note on there and then put my measurements so 35 inches waist is 38 inches and then center back um, 20 inches so this just helps ensure that they're you're getting the right size so maybe if i did make a mistake in getting the small and they recommend i would do the medium i'll go ahead and do the medium as well but just helps them to make sure that you're getting the right vest because you can't um return this item for a refund or anything because it's really personalized to the two of you or to the two of you to the, to you only um so you can't really do that and then you can't really customize the exact sizing to your vest either so know that there are some limitations but they're going to ensure that you get the right size vest for you um then once everything is ready to go you'll add it to the cart so um i know that this seems like it's a high price and a high product to amount to buy but think of it this way this is an investment you are getting very great quality products that are going to last a lifetime and more like i envision riding with this vest until i can no longer ride with it at all they do actually have a lifetime warranty on it too so say something does happen to it they're going to be able to work with you to make that vest as good as new so for me that price tag for however many years i decide to keep riding whether it's the next 60 to 70 whatever I'm physically able to do I'm going to do it um and then I feel like it's almost like a legacy item that you're going to pass down to my kiddos if they want to wear it as well I don't know it's something fantastic to kind of have in the family for that so for me looking at that price tag it doesn't bother me at all and it shouldn't for you guys too they do start out I think at $1.99 for your custom vest and but because I added some of the back options um in the inside liner custom it just you know the price does go up for that 
But I wanted to recommend to you guys, if there's anybody that's a military first responder or government employee, they do have a discount too. So with us being a military family, I thought this was fantastic and I had to mention it from our side of it too. So you'll go through, put in your payment options, and then you'll receive your vest in four to six weeks. I'm actually going to turn the screen off and share my face again so that I can kind of finish up with you guys instead of having to stare at a screen for the rest of the video. So, all right. Okay, so I figured I'd flip the camera back around so you can see my face instead of talking to the screen at you for the rest of it. But hopefully you understood kind of the process of how to order a custom vest on the first manufacturing company website works. It's very easy and simplistic, but if you do have any questions on things that are very customized and unique to you guys, just message them either by email, they've got a chat box on their website, or direct message on Instagram, whatever it may be, they're going to get back to you and work with you with what you've envisioned. So I'm super excited to get this back in um, at my doorstep, share some photos with you guys on it. It's going to be fantastic fall weather here very soon. And just to have, you know, one of my flannels that I've got and that dark brown, um, vest with the fall colors will be fantastic so i'll share some of those on instagram and then probably when i do the unboxing video for sure i'll share some of those photos of how it went to after i'll give you a feel for my thoughts on the vest and then also as a full year goes on riding with it um, i'll let you know how it is so super excited to have something that I might be able to pass down to my kiddos to know that this is um, a vest that maybe they can wear. Um, I'll share a little bit more of that story when the actual vest gets in. But if you have any questions at all, feel free to message me in the comments down below. Um, if you like this video, heck yes, give it a thumbs up. You know that kind of routine of how it goes. And we will see you guys in the next one. All right, thanks.